Hello and welcome to Energy Connects Explainers, where we will examine whether the industry is on track to achieve net zero by 2050. Today, we will explain the current progress in renewable energy deployment, the challenges faced by industries, and the pivotal role of collaborative efforts and policy in driving this transformation. We will hear insights from multiple experts to understand the landscape better and the road ahead. Let's begin with the, the deployment of renewable energy. How does uh, the use of these technologies compare to improving uh, efficiency in the energy industry? I think um, a short answer would be that obviously we are seeing improvements from one year to the other. So. In 2023, uh, Europe alone deployed 73 uh, gigawatts of renewable technologies uh, and the world uh, deployed more than uh, 500 gigawatts with China leading uh, the, uh, uh, let's say, the, the, this progress in renewable energy. So obviously the, there is progress made. A bit less, I would say, on the energy efficiency side, uh, still improvements from one year to another there. But uh, in relative terms versus the improvements in renewable deployment, uh, a, a bit less. Now, is this is this pace enough for you know keeping us on track for net zero for 2050? Uh, no, that is not the case. We are still uh, uh, short in uh, reaching those targets and we're uh, staying on the pathway on the on track. You highlight a very critical point. What challenges? do executives uh, recognize in the infrastructure required to achieve uh, net zero? What we're seeing and what we saw in the data is executives recognizing some of the challenges of the scale of the infrastructure required to execute this, anything like a net zero transition. In particular, one of the questions we also ask each year is, what are the key impediments? What are the things that are holding you back? from sort of driving more low carbon growth. And the biggest thing this year, again, as was last year, was willingness to pay of the customer and return on investment and the ability to generate returns on projects. Low carbon technology like uh, carbon capture and such uh, have been making waves in the industry lately. Uh, what potential do these solutions have in contributing uh, towards uh, a, you know, a net zero transition despite them being at a very high cost uh, right now. A lot of the oil majors and uh, in general fossil fuel uh, operators are looking into that. Also in a way, let's be honest, also in a way uh, that would allow them to protect a bit uh, their, uh, uh, their uh, business as usual. But nevertheless, investing in that, in this technology, which at the moment is rather expensive, but investing in that would probably lead us in a couple of uh, decades, hopefully, uh, by 2050, in a position where this technology will be an important puzzle in the net zero world. What considerations should businesses have to get closer to net zero? You know, on one side, uh, there's an important role for policy to play in that. Um, you know, you can create the revenue pools to fund these investments we have policy mechanisms in a wide range of those. And when we talk to, we ask executives about policy in the survey as well, you know, they share that policy certainty is one of the most important factors supporting this. And so I think part of this is ensuring that you've got the right um, policy landscape, uh, at least around where your businesses are playing. And so thinking about where you want to be from a policy perspective is important. What jurisdictions do I want to have my businesses in? But also the cost side, right? I mean, capital projects, uh, there's a long history in many industries of capital projects going over budget, being delayed. And so a lot of the work that we're doing with our clients now is really taking a closer look at how capital projects get done. How do we lean out capital projects? Do we need all the functionality and all these assets? How do we make sure that we do deliver those things on time and on budget every time? The journey towards a net zero emissions by 2050 is still progressing but much remains to be done. Significant investments in renewable energy, collaborative efforts across industries, and supportive policy mechanisms are critical to overcoming the challenges ahead. By addressing economic concerns, leveraging CCOS technologies, and ensuring policy certainty, 
we can make strides towards a sustainable future. Thank you so much for joining us today. And do not forget to follow us on social media for more insights on the energy sector. Stay tuned for uh, the upcoming explainers. Until then, goodbye.